podcast stuff. Hey, what's up? So, you know, um, I got a few Toxitrons since last time. I love Toxitron. So happy he's back. <laughs> um, I did a video about, about them all, the ones I had at the time. It was a good one. I like that video. But uh, since the last video came out, there's been like a few new ones that I got, right? One of them being from Dr. Wu. Uh, he's a small little guy, you know, he's just great. Look at him. Came with a trailer. I don't like it. I, I got no space for trailers anymore. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it looks great. I'm into it. But this new one, right? He's a Walmart-centric kind of neon vomity evolution toy line kind of guy. Looks great. Colors are great. And like I said, I kind of just like him because he's Toxitron, you know? I'm a big Toxitron kind of dude. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people kind of think that this Toxitron and this mold isn't very good. And I could see what they're saying. These shoulders, I don't like it. I'm not into it. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. But, you know, I try to pose him in any way. This happens. It's not great. But I understand it, right? It's based on the same one that he was supposed to be back in the day, the Laser Prime thing, G2, whatever. But, you know, if you don't care about poetry and all that, there's, there's like, upgrade kits for you. And we're going to look at some of them today. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, let's check out some options and hopefully make this Toxitron a little bit better for the, for the people um, <laughs> who don't like it, you know? See what options we got. Anyway, uh, here we go. First up, let's look at some swords. So just quick reminder, these are all made by fans, I'm assuming. Um, they're all like 3D printed, not the best materials, but they're just here for, here for vibes, right? So let's do it. This is the first one. It is a nice clear green sword with a black handle. It's not bad. The green doesn't really match his overall decor, but it's fine. It's like a toxic color. I'll take it, right? Like a, like a poison sword. It's great. He doesn't really have that much black either. I mean, he has some on his tummy and his shoulders, but... It's a little weird that it's like black instead of purple, but I'll take it. Let's see how it looks. Grip is a little bit loose, but it's fine. He looks pretty cool. I'm not mad at it. It's all right. What do you guys think? You like this? You digging this? If I had no other options, it's a perfectly fine sword. But let's check out some other options. Here's a second one. It is a clear purple and clear green. Um, <laughs> it's, oh God, I think I just broke it actually. Oh, no, it's a magnet. Okay. <laughs> it's got magnets. Um, yeah. So let's start again. It is a clear green and clear purple uh, sword. It fits like this in his hand, which is pretty cool. Again, it's not the color I would kind of want, but it's fine, you know? <laughs> it's all right. I'm afraid to articulate it. I think it can transform, but it's 3D printed, so I'm just kind of going to not uh, mess with it too much. But it's a sword. Looks all right. I don't know if I like it more than the last one, but, you know, it's a sword. It's very thrilling 30s laser prime sword it's fine homage i dig it but let's see the last one right let's before we make a decision on which sword we like the best let's see the last one shit well i think i lost a little magnet that was going on here so you're never gonna see it because i'm shooting the footage after this so that's fun right all right <laughs> let's move on to the th god damn it all right so this one's pff, this one's insane um <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is, it looks like it's based off of that RC thing, you know, the, the Titan Hunter RC or whatever. It's not bad. It's a cool looking crazy sword, but let's see what it looks like in his hands. Um, yeah, it's entirely psychotic. It's way too big. It looks like a Final Fantasy sword. I'm not against it, but I don't know. It's almost crazier than Toxitron himself. It doesn't seem like something he would wield, right? Am I, am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. What do you think? Would you ever, <laughs> would you ever uh, have a Toxitron holding this on the shelf? It seems too royal. I feel like Toxitron is like an idiot, right? He's like a goon. He's like a, I don't know. I feel like he's a monster more than he is a person, but maybe not. Maybe you guys think that Toxitron's just a dude. Maybe you're right. But I don't know. It's like, it, it doesn't really suit him in my mind. Um, it's not bad. I could do some cool pictures with this, but I don't know. I don't know if it's for my Toxitron, right? But let me know. Let me know what you think. Here they all are, side by side. Um, what do you think? Sword's good? Sword's bad? Let me know. Next up, blasters. So we got a couple options here. First up, we got this Menasaur sword looking thing from Combiner Wars. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, it's 
fear. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad in his hands. I gotta say that. I like that it almost matches his silver. It's not quite a match, but it's like, I dig it. It's You don't always have to match your weapon, I guess. But for some reason, I want my guys to match their swords. I don't know what that says about me, but there it is. Uh, yeah, not bad. I, I dig this one. This is the first one I'm like, hell yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll probably pose my Toxitron with this. <laughs> um, it's simple. It's understated. It's a little weird that it's from Combined Wars, pretty much. But maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just misremembering. And it's just a totally unique thing. But yeah, on to the next one. Here we go. Let's see what other guns we got. The next one is actually two. So we got two blasters here. And now that's what I'm talking about. That's pretty sweet. He's got two blasters, one for each hand. Uh, they're pretty close to a match for his purple, his reddish purple, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty into it. Uh, I don't know if I like them more than the last one, but I'm digging these. And they are 3D printed and painted, I believe. So, you know, be, be careful when handling. But yeah, I'm into it. Next up, we got the plunger. <laughs> God damn. So yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. It's funny, but it's like... What is this? He's a giant truck man. What is he doing with a, a two-story plunger? <laughs> Why? Why is there a plunger included in this? I like, I get it. Toxic Avenger. He's gross. He's a monster. But like, in reality, is this like a plunger from the top of a plumbing store? Or is this actually a plunger? Because it's weird. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a magnet on it. Don't know why. But if you wanted your Toxitron to like hold a plunger... There's a there's an upgrade kit for you out there. Just just know you're not alone. <laughs> Next. Next up, we got some gap fillers. So gap fillers have become like a pretty common thing for Transformers nowadays. They they fill in the gaps. There you go. If you didn't know, now you know. But so, yeah, if you want your figure to not look as cheap as it is, then you get these. Most people don't have a problem with this. I sometimes have a problem with this, but not always. Sometimes you really like a figure and you want it to be as complete as possible. So where Hasbro or other companies will have cut costs to like make things cheaper and more affordable, uh, these these kits will fill in those gaps and make it look good as new. So first up, we got this one, which I don't really know where it goes. Uh, I'm going to just like put it somewhere and see if it works. No, it's not for the feet. It is for the back of the leg, I think. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Instead of having all this, um, what is that? Hexagonal? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Hex? Six? Right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm an art dude, right? I, I, I don't do math. <laughs> what are you kidding me? But yeah, these, these just make the silhouette a little bit more complete. You don't want to see the inner workings, the gaps, the whatever. You could get these boom, bang, bing, bang, boom, pop them in there. Great, great stuff. This other set looks much more professional, whereas the first one looked a little grainy and a little bit shiny and didn't really match the plastic. This set looks pretty effing good, baby. Yeah, I can barely tell the difference between this and that. It's pretty good, right? From afar, you could barely tell the difference. Let me know which one you guys, if any, would prefer down below. Um, but yeah, on to the next uh, batch of weird stuff. <laughs> Let's do it. Here we go. Next up, what do you call these? Next up, we got some detail enhancers. That's what I'll call them for now. Um, <laughs> so first up, we got uh, some knee replacements, which look pretty good. I'm into it. I like this kind of stuff. Uh, gives a little bit of flavor, gives a little bit of flair. I'm, I'm here for it. So next, we got some like forearm enhancers. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it just kind of makes the the forearm bulkier and it gives you these little nubs that you can run some wire from to the backpack which i haven't put on yet but we're getting there and then we have this piece that plugs into the back of the roof of uh truck mode which i don't know it it kind of covers the g2 decepticon logo in a weird way um <laughs> i'm not against it but i am like kind of weirded out by the decision to do that i mean given it does have a giant decepticon logo on the back but i don't know so you can then take these rubbery string wire type things and squish it over these nubs that i mentioned earlier and then you kind of connect one nub to another via these wires and he's got like you know he's got like shockwave style energy wires running to and fro his backpack which isn't a bad look but I don't know. I'm not super into it, but I'm not against it either. I dig it. 
I probably won't use them, but I do dig it. And then we got these things that you can like shove in his his leg oil drum roundy things on the back. But I don't know. It kind of just fucked up one of my things and I'm just going to not put them on. Also, I just noticed that you can get the wires to plug into his smokestacks instead of having to put this weird backpack thing on. So if you don't like the Decepticon truck hood thing, you could just plug it onto the smokestacks, which I'm probably going to do. I, I like it a lot. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Um, but I'm going to build up my ideal Toxitron and show you guys what it looks like. So uh, here, here we go. Pretty cool, right? Um, he's, yeah, I'm, I'm into it. <laughs> he's interesting now. He's got wires. He's got uh, gap fillers. He's got a crazy sword, a weapon, different kneecaps, you know? Uh, yeah. Do I hope we get a better Toxitron in the future? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. I love Toxitron. I'll take as many as you could force down our throats, Hasbro. Just take this, take this into consideration. Toxitron. Most people dig Toxitron. Just putting that out there, you know? Um, but are you guys picking any of these up? <laughs> Did I sell you on any of these? Probably not. Uh, maybe the kneecaps. I feel like people would like these knees. They're, they're pretty sweet, dude. I'm digging it. Also, I'm just going to be absolutely real with you guys. Why haven't they made a Toxitron of these dudes yet? Do you guys, like, do you guys want that? Like, a, a green version of this mold? Because I want that. So let, let's make that, right? <laughs> like, I, I mean, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm alone. But I think people would buy a $9 Toxitron or whatever these are going for. Five, uh, probably 10, probably around 10. Transformers are crazy right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment, Instagram, Twitter. You know what to do. Uh, all right. <laughs> Bye. Next up, we got some hole fillers. Um, 